good morning YouTube, 3G Racing coming back at you with another video today and it is autocross number two up at Warminster so I'm excited, I got my new racing jacket on, big shout out to uh, Nate with Outflow Click for uh, hooking me up with this, uh, guys get your uh, orders in soon, the whole merch like collection's coming out soon so really excited for that but we're on our way to autocross, got the Eclipse with me, fully tuned in for uh, today's event so let's get right into the action. All right, guys, so I just wrapped up my uh, course walkthroughs today. Course looking nice and quick. There's a couple areas where there's a lot of time to uh, gain or lose, so it's not going to make or break our day today. But, yeah, we're getting close to racing action. I'm running in the second heat, and it's a little bit wet out today, so that's, uh, that's a plus. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's get racing. All right, so we're about to head up for our first run now. Uh, first class had some pretty good times in there. 31.5 from by Evo. Uh, Evo 8 was the best time of the day, so... I'm shooting for like 34, 35 range today, maybe 36. Uh, I'm not gonna compete with them, I know that, but my class is lower, so we'll see what we can do. But yeah, let's go get these runs in. Guys, so 39.6 first time out to go back and check if I hit any cairns, but not a bad start to the day there. Uh, five more runs left, so plenty of time for uh, improvement. That was a 37.9 if I didn't hit any cannons, so improved two seconds on that one. I definitely felt a lot more comfortable in the course, comfortable in the car. Uh, later in the braking zone, let the first gear ride out a little longer. So we'll see if I hit any cannons on that one, but I think we're uh, I think we're in the clear. There's one spot that was kind of close, but other than that, though, it seemed like a pretty good run.
time we hit a cone. Uh, this one was a tenth faster, so if we didn't hit a cone, that'll be our best time of the day so far. Still got three runs left, but that felt like a pretty good one. I don't think I got too close to any cones there, so I'll uh, take a look in a second here. So 37-2 last pass, y'all. I got a little bit squirrely at the end going through that slalom, but still improved 6 tenths. So I think 36 definitely possible. We still got two passes left, so uh, in fifth to seven right now, but we're gonna try to shoot for fourth. So yeah, another another good run, but I think the car definitely still has more in it. So we said at 36-2 on there. If I didn't hit any cones, that stands. That was a sloppy run though, but I pushed the hell out of the car. So let's hope I didn't hit anything, but that was uh, a, <laughs> I, was, I was pushing it there. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Honestly, I'm really happy with how the car performed today, how I performed today. Um, we did finish 5th or 7th in my class and I think 64th overall out of 123 so pretty solid honestly it's my best uh, best packs overall time there and um, yeah we'll just keep moving up I feel a lot more comfortable in the car doing this type of racing now so I feel like we're just going to keep moving up a little bit each time but yeah make sure to like, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video peace